I think it's really important that we talk about assumptions. In today's world, sometimes people don't feel comfortable to have conversations about other people's identity. And because of that, they make assumptions. And I don't think assumptions are particularly helpful. Um, I've had lots of assumptions made about me in the past, some good, some not so good. And regardless, they don't necessarily, necessarily tell you about my identity, about who I am as a person. For example, I am female. You may notice that I'm mixed race, and in fact, my parents were brought up on two different continents. You may notice that I'm under 30. You may notice that I'm LGBTQ. And some of those things you may not notice. But each of those things could cause you to make an assumption about me, about who I am, about what I do, and about how I do things. And sometimes that isn't helpful because I am made up of many different parts, but I'm the only person who can choose how those parts define who I am and how much those parts affect the way that I work. And so I think it's really important that we talk about assumptions because in order to work together successfully, sometimes we need to move away from those assumptions and have some frank conversations so that we can better understand each other, so that we can better understand how that we can work together, and so that we can really move forward and lead the change that we want to see. This video really spoke to me. Uh, it's from Genevieve Barr, and she shares her own perspective on assumptions and identity. Quite often I get asked the question, um, what do deaf people think about uh, stamping? anything and that's a stupid question and um, first of all because automatically being deaf I get put into a category and that instantly makes me the same as every single other deaf person that lives. Um, but it's also about identity. Yes I am deaf and yes that is a part of my identity but you know I'm white, I'm blonde, I'm an actor, I grew up on a farm I like reason. There are so many different aspects of people's identity. And quite often, what people make the mistake of is that they look at you and they say, you're white, you're blonde, you're deaf, that is your core. When actually, that's for me to determine what my core is and what my flex is. And being deaf is a very important part of my identity. So I weigh it up there in terms of the opportunity that gives me and the breadth of experience that gives me. But so many other deaf people will say, this is a very small part of who I am, or this is everything that I am. And there's a problem here, because one of the problems about disability is that there is a language and a communication barrier between disabled and non-disabled people, for want of a better word. There needs to be a cross over the barrier between deaf people and hearing people. Hearing people need to be comfortable enough to say to a deaf person, what does being deaf mean to you? Equally, a deaf person needs to be able to communicate to a hearing person that they are deaf, but that doesn't instantly mean that there is a code of behaviour to follow and how to communicate with a deaf person, because every deaf person is different. And so really it's up to the individual to determine how they want to be communicated to. But equally, at the same time, there needs to be a common language that is found between every conversation that is had. No matter how different that person is, you shouldn't prejudge them for being different. But you should judge them for being different in that you are prepared to have that conversation, you are prepared to approach the differences that exist between you but that you are not going to change your behaviour to, to achieve a common language between the two of you. Some really interesting insights there from Genevieve uh, about assumptions about identity and about her core. Have you made assumptions about other people? Have other people made assumptions about you? And what have you learned from that? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments.